Good morning and welcome to Sunrise. Sunrise is part of Dr. Serge Connor's Returning Youth Initiative, where we are returning post-incarcerated and at-risk youth back into society with a career, not just a job, housing and food to stop the plight of recidivism, the revolving door of arrest and rearrest in this country. Uh, what we do every Monday and Wednesday is we highlight either a, a young person, an individual, our target area, our target group is 18 to 30, uh, of what the struggles they went through and some of the other organizing organizations that are trying to help. What we really need in this country is a coordinated national approach. And that's what returning youth is trying to do. So we always look at what other thing, other organizations are doing right. And today I want to talk about something called Root and Rebound. So Root and Rebound is an organization and what they try to do is they contact post-incarcerated people and they try to identify an issue and help them. Very similar to what uh, the Returning Youth Initiative does. So there's a specific story I wanna, I wanna talk to you about and it's just, it's just one of many uh, in, in the United States, but I wanna talk about Jamala Branks because I think this is a story that kind of highlights ways that we should really improve the Juvenile Justice Reformation Act and the whole justice system. She was uh, going to school, getting her master's to be a um, counselor. She wanted to be a uh, family therapist and counselor. She, she had a master's degree. And one morning, her and her family, her husband and kids were going out. Unfortunately, her husband uh, had agreed to give some marijuana to a, uh, someone he thought was a friend. It turned out to be a police officer. He had $40 of marijuana. Because of that $40 that he was arrested, but that it didn't stop there. Not only was he arrested, but it greatly affected Jamala Branks. Uh, she, because she was with him at the time and he was carrying, she, uh, she was put on probation. And she was, even though she had a master's degree, she was not allowed to get a license from the state of California to be a family therapist. So they said it was three years. It went on for three years. And here's the picture of her family. He's rooting the rebound. After three years, California State continued to refuse her application to become a family therapist. So we, we find in returning youth is that part of getting people back into society is the legal help, expunging, expunging records, helping like situations like this. Root and, re, and Rebound got involved with Jamala helped her, they deal, dealt directly with the state because even after, after her time was over for three years, of, uh, uh, she was required to continue to a fourth year, even though she was on probation, her probation ended. So these are the type of things that we work on, we have to stop and we have to work on an individual, so in, on an individual basis. So I wanna thank you for joining us on the Returning Youth Initiative. If you have anybody in this situation, because we do have lawyers on our staff who need expungement or just representation, contact us at our website at returningyouth.com and join us. Go on YouTube at, at Returning Youth uh, every Monday and Wednesday. And I want to say thank you very much.